Where did my voice go? Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and I was pretty much wearing this makeup look basically the whole week. Like a, this kind of eye look. Um, I did switch up my lip a little bit, but pretty much playing with the same cheek products every day. So as far as a the theme, this is the theme. So let's get into it. First off on my eyes, I've been playing with this palette and I really, really like it. This is the ColourPop and I love Sarai, Sarai? I don't know how to say her name. I looked it up and then I remembered and then I forgot. So I'm sorry. It's a beautiful name, but I'm just butchering it. But this is called the Shiki Pressed Powder Palette. And it comes with the colors Distressed, which is a matte, Vivacious, which is a matte, Freckles, which is a matte, and Noki, which is a matte. Oh no, Vivacious is a metallic. I was like, what? I wonder if you could like see the little wheels turning in my head on that. And I'm like, this is not an all matte palette. I read it wrong. Vivacious is a metallic. So here they are. This is a gorgeous palette. So I have this one in my crease, this one in my outer corner. Totally forgot to use this on my brow bone today, but I used it other days this week on my brow bone. And then I have this on my lid. And this one is, it's kind of like a loose, not really flaky, but it's just a loose glittery shadow. So I would say use it with a mixing medium. Like I used it with MAC Fix Plus and it really helps the intensity like a lot. It really kicks it up and then it just helps it not be as messy when you're using it. But I mean, look at those. So nice. They blend really well. They wear really well. Just good eyeshadows. So impressive. So I was really tempted to get the other palette and I resisted, but this was the one that like really spoke to me and just sucked me in, probably because of that color. These metallic-y colors are just, I don't know, my thing. They just draw me in, I love them. On my cheeks this week, I wore a couple of things, but this is one of the things that I was using. This is the Maybelline Master Bronze by Face Studio Bronze and Highlight Kit. This is one of their new products that they just came out with, and I love it. I like the blush palette more, like I love, love the blush palette, and I love this. Like the more I've used it, the more I've enjoyed it, but I still like the blush palette better. But it's just a really nice palette, and I feel like it would be a good travel palette. I haven't used this on my eyes, but I bet you could use it on your eyes. It'd be pretty subtle because it's, you know, kind of like not very deep bronzy colors. This is not swatching very impressively, but I mean, I've worn it every day on my cheeks and I really, really like it. I've got it like as my contour today and I just really enjoy it. So I have these two as my contour. I wore this one, this kind of like lighter, I don't know, blushy bronzery sort of color as a blush one day and it was really pretty, the highlighter. So pretty it's glowy it's beautiful I have it on the inner corners of my what my finger do I have it on the inner corners of my eyes too and then I have it on my cheekbones it's just a fun beautiful classic highlighter so yeah and they each have like I don't know a little bit of a sheen like this one definitely has a little bit of a sheen but then these kind of do too not as much this one this one's more of a satin with a little bit of shimmer in it, but the shimmer really doesn't show up. So anyway, I did a whole what's new at the drugstore video. So if you want to check that out, I talk about this. I show some other stuff and swatch it. So check that video out if you're liking the new drugstore stuff. Where did my voice go? I've also been wearing this beauty this week. I tell y'all, I'm totally on the Juvia's Place train. I am like on it. I love their stuff. I just ordered the... Magic palette, I think it is. It just came in. I haven't played with it yet, but I'm excited too. So I will definitely share my thoughts on that palette. But this is the um, blush palette. This is the Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette. I also bought the Volume 1. Plan on using that for more like eyeshadows because that's more geared towards deeper skin tones. This one is geared more towards like medium to light to fair skin tones. So they're both beautiful. I love that they have options for everybody. I think that's awesome. This one is so pretty. So right now I have 
this and this, like a mixture of those two on my cheeks today. So that's what my blush is. And it's amazing. It's just beautiful. Like they blend well. I mean, oh my gosh, this one I just swatched. What? I haven't worn that one yet. This is going to be a weird swatch situation. I don't know what just happened, but it's okay. We're going to persevere. We're, we're going to work through. We're going to keep going with it. Y'all don't mind the weird swatch situation. I know you don't. You don't look for perfection. It's okay. See? What's going on there? Why are these on a different like level than these are? I don't know, but there they are. There are the swatches. This one was the one that when I was swatching it, I'm like, what? That's so pretty. It's just beautiful. Now that's going to be intense. That will be hard for me to pull off. I'm going to have to like barely tap my brush and then really like wipe it off on something and just get the tiniest little bit because that's intense, but just gorgeous. It's kind of like highlighty color, beautiful. So yeah, just awesome quality. Love them. So yeah, that was my blush I've been playing with this week. I might continue into next week because I still have more colors that I need to play with in this palette. I really mainly just, yeah, I've mainly just worn this one and this one and then this. Yeah, I need to play with this palette more. So I think I will. Then for lips this week, this was a total random. I just pulled it out of my collection. But when I wore it, I was like, oh my goodness, I need to show this more love because it was such a beautiful nude. This is the Maybelline, I think these are called the Color Sensational Lipsticks. This is in 235 Warm Me Up. So it's one that a lot of people talk about because it is just a beautiful everyday color. But man, I had forgotten about this because it is beautiful, perfect nude. I wore this working at Sephora one day and it wore really well. I mean, it didn't get weird. Like I didn't notice like the weird line. Um, it has a little bit of a sheen, so it has kind of like some dimension to it. So it's, it's kind of like a brownie nude, but then it has this like rosy pinky undertone in there too. So it just makes it a really like, I don't know, I would call it like a bridally brownie nude. Um, cause typically I think of like bridal as more, I don't know, like a light pink, not like a bubblegum pink, but you know, like a neutrally pink. This is a little bit more on the brown side, but it still has that like rosy bridally tone to it. I hope that makes sense. It's just a pretty nude and I really do like it. And I love these lipsticks. Every time I talk about them, I say how much I love them. I like the smell now. I like that play doh smell. I like the $5 price tag if you get it at Target or Walmart. They're just good lipsticks. I love them. And then lastly, what I have on my lips right now, I got this through Octoly and I was so excited to try it. This is one of the Lancome Matte Shakers. I'd swatched these in Ulta and I was like, I don't know. I love the regular Juicy Shakers. Like they're just really hydrating and comfortable. I love that they have different scents to them. So I love those. When I was swatching these, I'm like, I'm not sure. I can't, I, I can't really tell how I'm fully feeling about them. But then I received this from Octoly and got to actually wear it. Now I see why people love these so much. Because I was like searching on Instagram and people were saying how much they love them. I see why. Like this is so long wearing, but it really feels like nothing on your lips. Like I wouldn't say it's hydrating like the regular Juicy Shakers, but I wouldn't say that it's dry either. Um, it's just like nothing on your lips. Like it just, I don't know, it feels like my lips. It's still got that cute little... Um, like packaging to it and the cute little like applicator. This is a little bit difficult to get like accuracy. Like I really have to kind of, you know, clean out my lip lines with a lip liner, but I'm not mad about it. I like the cute little packaging. I think it's adorable. And this is a beautiful pink. What color is this? This is in yummy pink. So pretty bright pink, but I'm just so impressed with how it wears. Like it starts out just barely glossy, but then once it dries, it dries pretty quickly. Then it's basically just a matte, kind of like a satin matte, um, and just crazy long wearing. Like I put it on one night, um, I can't remember if I wore it through dinner. I don't think I wore it through dinner. I think I applied it after dinner. And I was still, I still had some left like the next morning. And I brushed my teeth, you know, taking a shower, all that stuff, and I didn't scrub my lips. It would have come off if I scrubbed my lips, but 
kind of forget about my lips when I'm like washing my face. Do you do that? You don't like sometimes I don't remove my lipstick. Anyway, this was still there the next morning. So it's really long wearing and that's just a fun, bright color. So yeah, I'm impressed with these. I really like them. I would love if they added on to this line and made like a something in the middle, you know, like they have the really light, glossy, comfortable ones. They have the long wearing matte statement lip ones. So I'd love to see like in the middle where it's kind of like, I don't know, glossy shimmery ones or something that are still kind of long wearing. I'm just, I love this. I'm on the train for the matte shakers or the shakers just in general, the juicy shakers and then the matte shakers. I'm on the shaker train. So I'd love to see something else on the shaker train. I think that'd be fun. So yeah, this was a standout lip favorite this week. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.